Hello friends, welcome to LMSDaily.com. In this video, I am going to show you how you can set up allowed and denied email domains to create new accounts for your user accounts. Spam user creation is a big problem for any Moodle administrator. In order to deal with that, you can specify a specific email domain for the students who need to create an email based self registration account on your Moodle site. You can specify the name of your institution or your school or your company to the allowed domains list and then Moodle will take care of the balance other domains. It will not allow the other domain users to create an account on your Moodle site. So let us see how you can set up this thing. In order to do that you need to log in as a site administrator. Then once you are logged in then you need to go to the site administration link. Just click on this one. Now you need to navigate to the plugins tab. Under the plugins tab, you need to scroll down to the bottom till you reach this authentication section. And under this authentication section, you need to click on the manage authentication tab. Now you need to first enable the email based self registration if it is not already enabled. So just click on this i icon. Now we have enabled the email based self registration but it will allow all email domains to register on Moodle. But in order to limit the allowed domains you need to just scroll down a bit more until you reach this section allowed email domains. Herein the default value is empty but for this screencast I have put the lmsld.com and similarly you can put your institution domain name here to let the student register only through the email address based on this lmsle.com or your institution domain name. So in order you need to simply specify the domain name along with a dot like dot lmsdaily.in and so forth. Every other domain name needs to be uh, mentioned like as described here you need to mention the domains by uh, separated by spaces the domains mentioned here will only be allowed to create a new account in Moodle the other domains will be rejected so once you are done just go and click the save changes at the bottom so after you configure this i will show you how a student can register or if they will use any other domain address then what the error they will see so as you can see i am on the moodle register account page now let me put something in the username field and let me uh, put some password here and i will mention some other email address here instead of the allowed domains to check what I can see. So let me just win there and then create new account here. So as you can see that Moodle is showing me an error message that please use your school slash work email id only to register. This is not the default language string what is being shown here. So I will show you how you can customize this kind of language strings. But similarly you will see an error message here to use specific email domains only. So this is how you can test self registration on your Moodle site. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you would have liked this video. Please uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, press the bell icon at the bottom of the video. Thank you very much for watching.